guys, today in this video I'll be giving my opinion and review on whether the iPad Air 3 is worth buying in 2020. This video is going to be split up into five parts, so we're going to have performance, display, the speakers, ease of use and the longevity factor, and build quality. So let's jump right into the first key point, performance. Now, as you can see with gaming, the iPad Air 3 does great. Here I am playing a game called Oceanhorn, and it is a pretty cool Legend of Zelda inspired game. And as you can see, the performance is top notch, running at 60 frames per second. This game performs great. As you can see, I'm not doing too well as I'm looking through the camera. Now, moving on to another game, we've got Terraria here, which also runs flawlessly on this device. However, it is pretty hard to see things because it is night, so I did use a special sword to guide my way through the dark so you guys could get an indication, but if you can't tell, the game is running at 60 frames per second, which is the optimal performance you'd want to get out of this iPad. Moving on, we've got Asphalt 9, which is a game that everyone's playing nowadays, and as you can see, the game performs great. It's running at 60 frames per second, which is the optimal quality, which is locked down on most Android devices, so you're going to get a higher performance there. And as you can see, I do manage to get in first place, though I don't play the entire race for you guys, but as you can see, it is coming down to the final stretch, and the game performs great. So you can get your racing fix on this iPad quite easily. As you can see, I did manage to get into first place. Now a game that a lot of people are interested in is Minecraft, of course, and here I am on the Lifeboat Survival Games multiplayer server to show you performance, which of course can vary depending on your internet connection. I joined a Skywars game, and you can see the game is running pretty flawlessly at 60 frames per second, though I do tend to lower the chunk and render distance to improve performance. As you can see, the match is about to start, and as I'm running through the lobby, performance is pretty great. Now, I do end up dying in this match, just to spoil it for you, but we're not judging gameplay, we're judging performance here. So, I do end up falling, as you can see, but the Minecraft performance was pretty great. The final game is Fortnite, and I'd like to show you specifically that it can run at 60 frames per second, which is a setting that's locked down and not available for the mass majority of iOS devices. Only the newer ones with A12 processor and later are capable of running the game at this quality. But as you can see, this is actually the lower graphic resolution, and the game still looks awesome. So you'll definitely have fun playing Fortnite. As you can see, I am jumping from the Battle Bus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the games in the iPad Air 3. On to point number two, which is the display of the iPad Air 3. Now, the iPad Air 3 that you see here does have an OtterBox screen protector on it, but this phone is capable of watching 4K footage, obviously. This display on the iPad Air 3 is not actually a 4K display. However, it is capable of outputting this footage in nice and good quality. It can also play videos at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And overall, this is a very nice display for watching any sort of media, given that it is very large. And also, they can play videos in 60 frames per second and with a higher resolution screen than the normal iPad 7th generation, as far as I can tell. In terms of the ease of use and longevity factor of the iPad Air 3, the device is updated to iOS 13 and will also be receiving the iOS 14 update that is coming soon. This means the device is completely future-proof and is also incredibly smooth to use. Previous iPads, including the 7th generation, have not had fully laminated displays, but this iPad does feature one, meaning that the typing is also much smoother. The haptic engine is also really good on this device. And just to confirm, as you can see, this iPad is running the newest version, 13.5.1, and will be updated for many years to come if Apple's track record is anything to show. It's a bit difficult to comment on the build quality of the iPad Air 3 when I have it in this Otterbox protective case, which I never intend to remove. But I can say that this is a pretty hefty device regardless, but you should have no problems with it, and it definitely feels premium featuring that Apple logo on the back, and it is overall a hefty piece of kit, especially if you slap a case on it, which is something I highly recommend doing with any mobile device I purchase. 2020 a good time to get the iPad Air 3. In my honest opinion, yes. Some say wait for the new iPad Air that is set to debut, but honestly, if you're in the market for a new iPad now, you won't be disappointed if you buy this one. 
It has an awesome display, great performance, awesome speakers, and is everything you could want in an iPad. And it's much more powerful in the seventh generation as it's using the A12 processor, which is found in the iPhone XS series. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments on this on iPad or want me to do a video featuring a certain game, drop a comment below, like, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.